In today's video, I attempted to supplement on Dollar Tree napkins. I was in a rush and I was doing it for my husband's birthday and I just wanted to kind of share it with you guys and get your thoughts on it. So if you want to see how it turned out, just keep watching. Okay, so I started by putting some butcher paper on my heat press and then I took my napkins, my Dollar Tree napkins, and I put those on my paper. I did not tape them down because the tape would just, you know, rip the napkins. And then so I put them on my paper and then I flipped them over. And I just decided to do my normal 385 degrees for 60 seconds. So I just put some butcher paper on top and I pressed at that time and temp. What I learned is that you should put two layers of butcher paper underneath because the napkins are so thin that the sublimation ink goes through all the layers of it and goes to the back. And I'm pretty sure it went to my heat press mat, the silicone mat. So I decided to just start putting two layers of butcher paper underneath the napkins. Now, the napkins didn't turn out as vibrant as I wanted them, which was a real disappointment because I saw some other people have like really vibrant napkins and I don't know why that is. I did everything they did. So if you try this out and your napkins are more vibrant, please let me know because mine were not vibrant. They were still cool. So the reason why I wanted to do this for my husband's birthday is because I got the idea of just making like putting a whole bunch of like funny images of him on the napkins and I just thought that would be he would get a kick out of it. So that was terrible 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 so if you guys have tried this before let me know your tips and tricks because i tried at increasing my time and i had mine set at 385 degrees because my heat press runs hot and it was still fading so i don't know let me know your tips and tricks if you've tried these i mean it still looks cute it's just not as vibrant as i've seen some other people and I've seen it be like a hit and miss, like some people get really vibrant images and some don't. So let me know your tips and tricks for it. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.